Hey, hello there, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about something really interesting, which has popped up in the patch 925 data, the Shadowlands data, and that is Drakthir spell uh, images and animations and things like that. So yeah, we're gonna talk about all of that, but before we jump into that, guys, just wanna shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you wanna see me streaming World of Warcraft, patch 9.2, 10.0 Alpha Beta, Wrath Lich King Bayer, all that good stuff, guys. I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so yes, as I said, there is some Drakthir animations or images of animations or kind of hints towards that. That isn't encrypted. That's not encrypted. We can actually look at this kind of stuff and talk about it and speculate. And I have my thoughts and theories on what I think this is, and I guess we'll find out uh, very, very soon. But as I mentioned, there was a new build the other day of patch 9.2.5. As you know, the release candidate is now out, and the patch is releasing next week on May 31st, which is actually really soon. Um, so... This is wild.tools. This is a fantastic website for data mining or digging into the files and things like that. And uh, as you can see here, there's a bunch of unnamed files. There's a lot of encrypted files as well. Uh, some of these are like armor sets. This is actually the uh, pre-order armor set potentially. Uh, and some of these are encrypted. You've probably seen some of these before as well, but that's not what we're gonna talk about. What we're gonna talk about is what came in the latest build. And that is Drakthir animations. So this was kind of the main one. This is kind of the big one that you can kind of confirm is Drakthir. This circle image, this is a BLP file, which is a texture file. And uh, yeah, this is what's used by spells, I believe. So this is really interesting. Um, because if you go through the Drakthir videos or the stuff that we saw back at the uh, announcement, this was actually used. This was used by the Drakthir in one of the spells. Uh, the kind of circle thing was combined. And if you do combine it, it looks like this. That's what it looks like. And then in the video, it looks like this. So yeah, it's very, very similar, if not exactly the same. Now we'll see the kind of different layers here. Uh, I believe they rotate on their own, which is why they're kind of separated here. And that gives the kind of illusion of the awesome kind of uh, magical spell by the Drakthir. But that wasn't it. That isn't the only things that are in this uh, game files. There's a bunch of other things like this light beam or this kind of swirly thing. And there's a bunch of other stuff which was added in previous builds, which now with the context of potentially it being Drakthir spells, make a lot more sense. But yeah, there's some kind of animation stuff here. So if you combine these and it creates like an animation of sorts, um, yeah, there's some really interesting stuff here. Now, some of this is obviously just random stuff, as you can see, but this one particular, this uh, particular spell, uh, if you put this together, it's kind of like a smoke effect. And, you know, in my interview with Brian Halinka, he mentioned that transforming from a human or the, uh, the visage form to a dragon form will be a smoke effect, which is really interesting. I don't know if that's particularly it. It could be, um, but, you know, maybe we're just throwing out random theories here. Now, the real question is why? Why is this stuff in the 925 data? And as I said, there's, there's tons and tons of stuff. There is a lot of encrypted things in the 925 data, which makes this really fun to speculate. Uh, you know, people thought, oh man, they're gonna encrypt everything, I'm gonna be out of a job, but you know, I think it's kind of fun to speculate based on uh, on, on random encryption and, uh, you know, bits and pieces like this. So my theory on this, and this might be a bit of a crazy one, is uh, with the pre-order of Dragonflight, I think because you get the Drakthir race as a pre-order bonus, I think on the store, when you go to the store, when it comes out on the store in-game, it will show a Drakthir. It will show a Drakthir, maybe a Drakthir in their dragon form, transforming from their visage form, uh, because there is a bunch of encrypted M2 models, which are model files in 925. Now, a lot of that is to do with the Tears Rule Glade stuff and whatever is going on over there. A lot of that is encrypted because of that. But I do have a theory that there will be a Drakthir model, which is used by the store, so that when people go to pre-order the game in-game, they can see a Drakthir. They can see what the model looks like. That's kind of my logical theory. Uh, my other theory, which I think is really wild, and I think would actually be really, really cool and build up a lot of hype, is that if Blizzard added them to the character create screen, just as kind of like a coming soon screen. So you have your character create screen, then you have like one little, you know, uh, little race circle on each side where you can click it and it, you can't customize it, but you can look at it. You can look at the model um, and maybe it does a little animation like, uh, you know, like the... Uh, you know, like the animations that they do right now. And maybe that is why these spell effects are in here. 
Um, you know, Blizzard won't have to create the spells or create a load of other stuff. They could just have one kind of base preview model that people can look at and be like, oh damn, that's coming soon. That's coming with Dragonfly in whenever that comes. Or, you know, maybe once you pre-order, you might be able to customize it. But it, it depends how far along they are with the customization. I'd imagine that's stuff they're still looking at and still doing actively. So I doubt they would allow you to customize it or create it until they're kind of finalized with those particular customizations. You know, you're not going to have like a half made model and be like, right, that'll do. And then like two weeks later, it's like, oh, actually we added this new hair color or this new hairstyle or whatever. So I think no to customization, but it would be really cool and like a really fun kind of hype preview and excitement to have them already on the character screen uh, as kind of like a, you know, this is coming soon, this is looking good. But realistically, I think with this, I think it is for, you know, the pre-order stuff, if that is the case. If not, I mean, they might just have some random 10.0 data leaked into the 925 data. Uh, not encrypted though, not encrypted, which is really interesting with this. Um, as I said, this is kind of the most obvious one, this kind of circle one, but there is a bunch of others uh, which could potentially be linked to that as such. Um, it's hard to say, it's hard to say. It's really random. A lot of these, as you can see, like things like this, like, I don't know. I don't make games or know too much about this. I'm sure there's maybe some animators out there that are looking at this going, yeah, obviously this is what this is for. Um, but my assumption is that these are going to be Drakthir stuff, Drakthir Evoker, uh, kind of spell animations of sorts, uh, being used for something. But again, it could just be a little tease. Could be like a little thing for Blizzard to be like, haha, here's some... Here's some things, here's some stuff in the game. The spell database file doesn't mention anything about Drakthir Evoker spells or anything like that. So it doesn't look like the Drakthir are going to come in in 925. That's kind of the wild, you know, wild assumption here is that they add them in 925. That's not happening. I I doubt that. Um, they, you know, they would have to add the entire start zone. They'd have to do a load of stuff. Uh, that just sounds messy and annoying, so more than likely this is going to be uh, pre-patch, as they've mentioned before. So I don't think this is going to come in 925, um, but we might get a Drakthir model in 925. We might be able to see the model in 925 and start digging into it, looking at the animations and talking about it, and that'll be really fun. You know, um, and as I mentioned, there's so much encrypted stuff in 95, so it could be literally anything, <laughs> you know, and that's kind of the excitement of it. That's kind of the excitement of it. So yeah, just a little video talking about these spell animations or whatever these are. Uh, let me know down below what your theories are on these kind of animations or these images. Are they just a tease? Are Blizzard messing with us? Is this something completely unrelated? I'd love to know your theories. Uh, could be something to do with the pre-order mount. Who knows? Who knows? I think that's, as said, that's kind of the fun of this. Uh, to look at these kind of images and be like, well, what is this for? So yeah, there you go, guys. Let me know down below what you think of these uh, images or these uh, teases of potential Dragthir Evoker stuff. Why do you think they're in the game? I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. And before I go, I'd love to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming 9.2.5, 10.0 alpha beta, looking into files. One of the big streams we've been doing recently is just kind of looking into files and theorizing and talking about it. It's been a lot of fun. So if you want to check me out, guys, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.